Okay, David, go ahead and come in. Am you I can open, open your eyes. Wow. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, listen, um, this video is well overdue, totally aware. But before I share with you the final look, let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? When I purchased my home, the first rooms I committed myself to tackling were my children's bedrooms. For my oldest, I already knew I wanted to create a space that incorporated a mix of industrial and rustic elements filled with a lot of texture and mixed metals. And previously, uh, the walls were a beige tan color and I wasn't really a fan of this color and the paint job was done sort of haphazardly and it just wasn't the best. I jumped into creating the mood board that would capture every single thing that I wanted to do, starting with the paint by Sherwin-Williams called Dorian Gray. That mixed with this super handsome peel and stick wallpaper that gave me that industrial lot vibe I was going for. The bed was a inspiration from Pinterest from so many years ago, and my storage solution was to reuse this gorgeous bookcase I already owned. For the textiles, I'm loving these blue, green, and linen tones. The ceiling fan will be replaced with a natural and organic element to soften up the look next to all of the rest of these harsh elements. But I'm loving these modern side tables mixed with the wood and metal. I paired that with a vintage chair I found and the desk is just, I think, perfect for the aesthetic I'm trying to achieve. The paint completely changed the look of this room and months back I shared a full tutorial on how I install this peel and stick wallpaper. I'm still in love with it by the way. Then later, I showed y'all how I DIY'd this lovely light fixture. Instant, instant upgrade. I got my hands dirty, dusted off a few tools, and upcycled an old console table into the coolest custom desk. And because I couldn't help myself, I installed a gallery wall. The end product was just what this room needed. Now we're gonna put the furniture in this bedroom, which you see back there. So that's what we're gonna do today. Assemble a few things, install some curtains, and then get to decorating. This is it, guys. This is the last video of this series, well, I think. And I'm, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm fixing to drink some, some coffee out of my son's cocoa mug. That's the kind of day we're having today. Here we go. I started by assembling this bed frame that I purchased. This one was a lucky find, I think. I thrifted it at a new and nearly new store and I ultimately saved roughly 50% of the cost of every retailer that I found online. I then installed these curtains. Well, I'm saying curtains, but I reused flat sheets to create some curtains. I have managed to be able to recycle a lot of things for my son's bedroom. Those nightstands used to be in my basement and so were these lamps. But I believe in using what you have and if you don't need to go out and spend, don't do it. I've had these lamps for a while. I actually thrifted the pair. Um, they were, I think, $7.99 at Goodwill. I freaked out, I kind of ran to them. <laughs> and then I paired it with this Target shade. It's got this beautiful texture to it. Let's make the bed now. <laughs>
So I have this blank wall right over here. I wanted to bring in a little bit more color. If you saw my thrift haul, my vintage thrift haul, uh, you will notice this or recognize this picture frame. It's a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory quote. It says, we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. The other thing I wanna hang on that wall back there is my son's guitar. I have already sort of figured out the placement of this piece of art. My dad gave this to me when I was a kid. I <laughs> I love Spider-Man. He's like my favorite Marvel character, <laughs> point blank period. And so I decided to gift it to my son because he is a pretty big Spider-Man lover himself. So I decided that I could just, you know, let him carry on the life of this piece of wall decor or art. And then next to that professional looking piece of art, I am adding this right here. I painted this, uh, I don't know, a very long time ago. It, it, it's probably, we're looking at maybe over five years ago at this point, uh, closing in on six years because my oldest son was still, you know, just getting out of his toddler stages. So I painted this one for him one late night and um, we've had it ever since. I have this old suitcase here. I have a couple of vintage suitcases that I've collected and I use them to store um, a lot of different things. So this one, I'm just gonna use it to store his extra quilt that we're not using in his room. But should we want to change out the bedding later, we have the bedding under his bed and ready to go. I am so, so glad to be done and I am even more excited than anything to show my son he hasn't seen anything in here and the fact that I can surprise him and see his reaction, I'm so excited for that. I cannot wait till he sees his room. I'm so excited. David. Okay, David, go ahead and come in. Well, you can open your eyes. about the wall. I love it's perfect. It. Like yeah. This. Did you I like the like I love this. I'm not sure what that word is called. It's wallpaper. It's like a big sticker. It's a peel and stick wallpaper. It's like a huge sticker. Wow. Yeah. What do you think about what do you think about your desk? That's where you're gonna be doing your homework and everything. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go ahead. You can touch it, move it around, take a look at everything. I'm gonna love it. You love it? I'm so glad you love it, Papa. Whoa! Who are these guys getting here? <laughs> you wanna come show the camera what they're what is in there? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's what? see. Yeah, three racers. Can I put these guys back in? I'm not sure. Mom, can put these guys back in? Yep. Watch someone go super fast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go super fast. It's been a journey. I came in here and I showed y'all exactly what it looked like beforehand. The walls were beige. And I came in here and I painted, I installed that wallpaper, I made a pendant for him, I built a desk for him, I went thrifting and I got some things and collected a few more things for him that I loved and felt that were going to be super perfect for his bedroom. And <laughs> let me just say, this bedroom did not happen overnight. This bedroom happened over the course of years. All the thoughts, all the ideas that I had, I put them into place. And as you can see, the majority of the things that are in my son's bedroom are things that I have collected over the course of years. I definitely reused and repurposed things that I had had in previous bedrooms, in previous homes beforehand. I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. I surely had a blast filming, had a blast working on all of the projects, sharing them on Instagram as I was working on it all as well. If you enjoyed today's video, show some love and hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I have another series coming up, redoing my other son's bedroom. I've already been working on that one and I have a ton of really, really cool projects to share with y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. All right, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Oh my God, it has the Daisy song in here. This is so cool. Full disclaimer, the video will be extended for the duration of the time that it takes me to play this song. I'm not gonna be singing. I don't think I hit any of the notes properly.